Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really easy way for you to be able to develop an alternate character, another class that you want to try without having to bother your friends to power level you or rely on other people to help get you rolling. This is a very effective method. As you can see right there for the purpose of this video, I've got a level 94 sorcerer right here. And what I'm going to do is be trying to send stuff over to the barbarian right here. That is level one. And I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly and very effectively to get your character a starting point to have some good loot and good aspects and all that type of stuff. Let's get into it. Okay, so this method is going to be featuring the Tree of Whispers and being able to manipulate which class is getting the rewards based on what you complete. So what we can do is simply go around the map and you want to do these different objectives that give you the grim favors. Like you can see right here, if I clear this dungeon, it says I will get five grim favors and I will fill up that red bar on the bottom. Once I fill up that red bar, a lot of you know the drill by now, you can go to the Tree of Whispers that I'm at right here, which by the way, just a little quick pro tip this waypoint is amazing the tree of whispers waypoint if you're grinding with friends and you just want to go to town with really it quick and empty your inventory go through your yellows sell stuff salvage stuff throw stuff in the stash etc this waypoint is amazing because all of the stuff is kind of right here you've got your blacksmith your stash and a vendor right there next to the waypoint and then you can simply go back to what you were doing so consider using the tree of whispers waypoint for a quick way to kind of dump your inventory and get back to grinding but anyway yeah we're going to be going through and we're going to be filling up our red bar down there of grim favors and then we're going to go back to the tree of whispers to turn in our reward and we're going to do so but we're going to keep in mind the other class and the other character that we're going to be trying to send rewards to and then when we get our reward cash from the tree of whispers we're going to head on over and throw it in the stash then we can switch characters and we can go claim that cash on another character even if they're level one so what I'm going to do right here, I've got some footage that I recorded in preparation for this video. I'm just going through and I'm finishing Grim Favors. Right here you can see I cleared a dungeon. Then I'm going to head on over and I'm going to clear a quick objective and fill up that red bar. And you can see that I completed another Whisper. And now my red bar is full right above my webcam. You can see that there. So at that point, I'm going to head on over to that waypoint at the Tree of Whispers. And then I am going to turn in. You don't want to switch yet. You don't want to go over to your other character yet. You do want to turn in the reward here on your main. That's what you're going to have to kind of do for the order of operations. But you do want to keep in mind, you probably want to go for like weapons are the most impactful thing to get on your alternate class. So if weapons are a choice, we're going to take that. So I take the cache of two handed weapons and then I'm going to head on over and I'm going to throw this reward cache in my stash instead of opening it and then what i can do is switch characters and then claim it even if they're level one so you can see right here we put the cash in right there you can see it bang there's my reward cash and then at that point we can leave the game because the stash is going to be universal it's going to be between all of our characters so now we leave and then we select our level one barbarian our alt character that we're trying to send rewards over to we load in and even if you're level one right now just like this right here my barbarian is level one i can go up to the stash and i can claim the cash right there throw it in my inventory and then we can go over and open it and even though we're level one we can get those rewards but it, they are going to be level cap so you're not going to be able to use them until level 60 but it at least gives you a big leg up because once you hit level 60 now you can throw on a bunch of good gear and a bunch of good aspects and boom you can see right there we got a level 60 yellow and we even got a 788 power ancestral legendary just from doing this once and that one right there that i'm mousing over right there so you can do this to get really good amounts of gear very quickly on an alternate class without having to rely on other people so you're progressing your main a little bit because you're going around clearing stuff and you're dropping loot and all that. And then you're also working towards building a, another class because you can go over and claim the rewards on that. So you can get a really good wide range of progression on your account completely solo without having to rely on anyone else helping you. And I don't really think this is something that Blizzard is going to nerf. I think this will probably be left in the game because, I mean, Diablo 3 is 12 years old at this point, 
and we can farm caches and do the same thing like throw them in the stash and then open them on an alt character and stuff like that and it was never viewed as like an exploit or abuse or something blizzard had to rush out and patch right away so i think that this is probably gonna be left in the game if i had to guess i'd be surprised if blizzard ran in and stopped us from putting caches in the stash and then opening them on a different character because it's got a level requirement anyway I'm like maybe if you would do this and then I'd be able to equip those legendaries on like a level one alt class maybe then uh it, it could be a little bit crazy but since they're level capped I don't really see a problem I don't see Blizzard rushing out to change this in any way so to give you a quick recap and summary with text on the screen, I'll walk you through the steps right now. Step one, we're going to be clearing enough Grim Favor Tree of Whispers objectives to fill up that red bar. And then we're going to head on over to the Tree of Whispers to turn in and get a reward cache with our main class. Then for step two, when we're claiming the reward cache, we want to prioritize the items that our other class, our alternate character is going to want the most, which is typically going to be weapons. Step three, we want to take that reward cache that we got on our main character, and we want to head on over to our stash and throw it in there so that we can transfer it to our other class. Then the final step four is simply switch on over to our other character and then log in and claim the rewards with that reward cache that is in our stash. And I think it's kind of nice, honestly, because a lot of people feel that you hit a wall with the Tree of Whispers and it kind of hits a point where it's meh and you don't really want to do it or care too much about farming up these grim favors. But this really gives the Tree of Whispers a more carved out role in the game where you can use it by yourself to help farm gear for other classes and help get some other options for you to play on your account and test out different things that you might like. Because I, I, I know for me, I want to level up a few different classes and really start grinding to figure out what I want to play on season one. So this is a great opportunity for me to get all five classes up and rolling before season one, and then do some testing and see which one kind of stands out to me as we try to figure out what our season starter is going to be here in about two or three weeks when season one launches. Which, by the way, we've got another one of those Blizzard Diablo 4 developer streams coming up here in just a couple days on July 6th. So I think at that point, we're going to figure out I, like, I, I think they're going to announce what the actual start date is for season one. And my guess is July 21st. If you made me try to guess right now, I think that's what they're going to go with. And we'll have season one starting here in about two and a half weeks. So now is the time to kind of try out some stuff, figure out what you want to play on season one, farm up all of your altars and your renown and all that type of stuff so we can prepare as best possible. So if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to earn your subscription today. And I am going to get back to the grind trying to figure out the most efficient ways to play and the most efficient ways to level different classes and all of that to prepare for season one effectively. I appreciate all of you. Have a great rest of your day. And for you Americans out there, happy July 4th. I hope you get to enjoy the holiday. I will see you soon in the next video. Peace.